a, a truck driver and you want the, the most badass rig on the road, this is it. Um, the first builds of the high volume semi design will come late this year in 2025 and begin ramping early in 2026. But Would you rather have your Tesla semi consume 1.73 kilowatt hours per mile or achieve 1.73 miles per kilowatt hour? Elon Musk recently made an exciting announcement about this electric truck, reinforcing that it will be the best Class 8 truck in the world. In recent times, Tesla has added a much-needed feature to this large truck that no other vehicle on the market currently offers. In addition, after rigorous testing and seeing the impressive performance of the vehicle, Tesla's latest semi-customers have shared detailed information about its performance, user experience, and real-world applications. In today's episode, we'll explore two key features that could make the Tesla Semi the world's best electric truck. By the end, we'll share the latest updates on production progress, release date, and production volume as confirmed by Elon Musk and his team. Why is the Tesla Semi a huge profit opportunity? As we've said before, you know, the Semi is a TCO no-brainer. Like, it's really similar to the Optimus. It's set by how much people pay, and then, you know, it, it, it as the total cost of ownership, it's much, much cheaper than any other transportation you can have. You might be surprised to learn that all the Tesla Semi prototypes we see today are still first-generation models, produced with limited technology and manufacturing capacity at Gigafactory Nevada. The current numbers in terms of production and performance may seem impressive, but for us, this is just the beginning of an exciting journey ahead. As Elon Musk confirmed in the recent Q4 earnings call, Tesla is set to launch the Semi Gen 2 this year along with a brand new factory dedicated to mass production. Many people have doubted the capabilities of the Tesla Semi, arguing that it couldn't compete with traditional diesel trucks. We completely understand the skepticism. After all, despite its initial unveiling in 2017, the number of Tesla Semis actually on the road today remains limited to under 200 units, including those owned by businesses and Tesla itself. So. Can this electric truck truly measure up to the tried and tested diesel models that have dominated the industry for decades? Although the number of Tesla semis on the road is still relatively small, eight years of operation and testing have made one thing crystal clear. Their operating costs are significantly lower than those of diesel trucks, with margins that exceed expectations. A prime example of this came during Pepsi's Run on Less event, where a Tesla semi shattered records by covering an impressive 1,076 miles in a single day. Based on California's electricity price of 30 cents per mile and the average diesel fuel cost of $3.66 per gallon, covering 1,076 miles in an electric truck would cost just $322.80, while a diesel truck would rack up a staggering $3,938.16 in fuel expenses. The difference is almost unimaginable, a cost gap of $3,615.36. This means that operating a diesel truck is 12.2 times more expensive than an electric one in terms of fuel costs alone. On another note, this journey was completed within 24 hours, largely because an electric truck doesn't need to rest. However, in reality, U.S. regulations limit truck drivers to a maximum of 11 hours of work per day. So, could the Tesla Semi evolve into a kind of transportation robot, reducing the demand for traditional truck drivers? I do think a Tesla Semi, again, with autonomy, is going to be incredibly valuable. You know, we actually have a shortage of truck drivers in America. That's one of the limiting factors on transport. And... Um, uh, people are human, so they get tired and sometimes, and, you know, I have a lot of respect for truck drivers because it's a tough job. Uh, During the recent Q4 earnings call, Elon Musk pointed out that trucking is a tough job, which is why fewer people are willing to pursue it. In fact, the number of drivers leaving the profession exceeds those entering it, creating a serious logistical issue for the future. According to Musk, this presents a massive financial opportunity with the potential to generate several billion dollars in revenue annually. He even suggested that at some point, the market value of this industry could reach $10 billion per year, or even $1 billion per month in the future. 
So if a Tesla Semi ever has to stop after 11 hours of operation, it would simply be because the first driving team has reached their legal work limit, not because of the truck itself. Of course, achieving a fully autonomous self-driving electric truck will take more time, but eventually we'll reach a point where autonomous semis can operate without anyone on board, delivering an entirely new transportation experience. What's crucial here is that, unlike other autonomous vehicle concepts that rely on fixed routes or controlled environments, the Tesla Semi will be able to operate autonomously or semi-autonomously across various terrains and road conditions, thanks to Tesla's latest full self-driving technology. One major advantage here is that in the U.S., 80% of all freight moves through just 10% of the nation's trade corridors. This makes nationwide route mapping a completely achievable task for Tesla's current full self-driving system. However, Tesla's plans still depend on state regulations, as some states currently prohibit autonomous truck testing on public roads. This remains the biggest barrier preventing electric trucks from fully operating in cities, for now. From a cost-saving perspective, adding autonomous driving technology would increase a truck's price by about $50,000, bringing the total cost to around $200,000. But even with this added expense, it would still be cheaper than paying for a human driver. If you break it down, $50,000 spread over a truck's 1 million mile lifespan means the extra cost amounts to just 5 cents per mile, a fraction of what companies currently spend on labor. But the real benefit comes from the savings on driver wages, which, based on the average U.S. salary of about $80,000 to $120,000 per year, translates to $0.80 cents to $1.20 per mile. Currently, labor costs account for about 50% of the total operating cost of a truck. As for autonomous trucks, this doesn't mean they'll eliminate jobs entirely. While self-driving trucks may handle long-haul routes without a driver, loading and unloading cargo still require human workers. So, autonomous trucks will likely shift the nature of the job rather than replace it entirely. Therefore, we believe autonomous trucks could create better cargo transport capabilities while still protecting jobs for workers. Self-driving semis would primarily operate on routes between stations and distribution centers, long, monotonous, and tiring drives that are challenging for human drivers over extended periods. For example, if you had to drive from San Diego, California to Austin, Texas, it would take about 18 to 20 hours. No single person could complete that trip, let alone make the round trip as it's nearly double the 11-hour driving limit. But an autonomous truck could make that journey back and forth all day, handling the most grueling task that drivers usually avoid. This means freeing up the human driver to take care of the first and last legs of the trip, picking up and delivering the goods. This way, drivers can work more effectively during their shift and still have valuable time at home with their families. The goal of eliminating human drivers from long-haul routes is to enhance safety, improve productivity, and quality of life. According to the latest tests of Tesla's full self-driving system, autonomous vehicles respond 14 times faster than human drivers and can see much farther down the road, even at night. It's the perfect solution, because in the U.S., there are about 5,000 truck-related fatalities each year, with most of them being caused by human error. Because autonomous trucks don't get tired, don't watch movies or look at their phones, and aren't distracted. So when you consider the decision, the question shouldn't just be, can Tesla compete with diesel engines? The real question is, why wouldn't I choose a Tesla Semi? When you factor in the significant cost savings, environmental benefits, and the ability to future-proof your business, the choice becomes clear. How efficient is the 2025 Tesla Semi really? Does the Tesla Semi actually use a 48-volt electrical architecture? And what advantages does it offer compared to the traditional 24-volt system? Some of our colleagues in the transportation industry have said that Elon Musk doesn't truly understand the spirit of a V8 engine. As a truck driver himself, he prefers the power of a 1-megawatt motor. However, in general, Large trucks today are built with a 24-volt system. In the U.S., 
the 12-volt standard is used for most passenger vehicles, electric cars, and smaller commercial vehicles like the Ford F-150, Toyota Camry, Tesla Model 3, Tesla Model S, Chevrolet Bolt EV, and Ford Mustang Mach-E. On the other hand, most trucks use a 24-volt electrical architecture. Similarly, we use 110 to 120 volts for household appliances, while most high-power factories use 220 to 240 volts. The main reason for this goes back to the time when semi-trucks were first commercialized. The U.S. adopted trucks earlier than other countries, largely due to the construction of the interstate highway system after World War II. As a result, the 12-volt system became the initial standard, and now, as 24-volt systems have gained global popularity, the 48-volt system is set to become more prominent, especially with the Tesla Semi Gen 2, which is expected to prioritize this system starting this year to enhance performance and efficiency in this new generation of electric trucks. Furthermore, the adoption of a 48-volt system is more necessary for electric truck designs than for gasoline-powered vehicles. This is because electric trucks will improve energy, demand for higher power, and support energy regenerative features like regenerative braking, which helps extend the range of electric trucks and reduces the need for frequent recharging, ultimately offering significant long-term benefits. According to the latest news, Saya, one of the leading LTL freight companies, has added two Tesla semis to its fleet. Saya also issued a press release regarding this addition. The press release also quoted statements from Patrick Sugar, Executive Vice President of Operations at Saya. Mr. Sugar shared, We are very impressed with the Tesla Semi. The truck has demonstrated excellent performance both on short and long trips, while still delivering substantial power and efficiency. During the testing phase, we achieved an energy consumption rate of 1.73 kilowatt hours per mile. Our drivers were also very satisfied, particularly with the smooth acceleration, the comfortable design, and the ability to maintain speed on steep inclines, even with a heavy load. This feedback highlights the tremendous potential of the Tesla Semi. Once again, in real-world testing conditions, the Tesla Semi continues to make a strong impression on companies. Previously, PepsiCo and DHL had also expressed their satisfaction with the performance of the truck. Now, Saya has joined the list of businesses that trust in the Tesla Semi. The performance of the Tesla Semi appears to be quite consistent across various companies. Specifically, Saya reported an energy consumption of 1.73 kilowatt hour per mile, while DHL's tests showed 1.72 kilowatt hour per mile. PepsiCo even achieved a lower figure with only 1.61 kilowatt hour per mile. These results suggest that the Tesla Semi is truly ready for large-scale operation. The impressive performance of the Tesla Semi is a key factor that makes this truck a practical solution, as it allows the vehicle to travel up to 500 miles with a full load without compromising its cargo capacity. When comparing its range with competitors, the Tesla Semi stands out significantly. Looking at the Volvo VNR Electric, Volvo's website lists a range of up to 275 miles. However, in the fine print, they note that the actual range of this model is closer to 220 miles. Not only does the Tesla Semi have a much greater range compared to its competitors, but it also boasts superior fast charging speed. With Tesla's new V4 supercharger system, the Semi can receive up to 1,200 kilowatt of power. Meanwhile, the Nikola Tray, its closest competitor, can only charge at a maximum of 350 kilowatt. Other models charge at even slower rates. For instance, the Volvo VNR Electric has a maximum charging rate of 250 kilowatt, while the Freightliner e Cascadia can charge at 180 kilowatt with a single charge and up to 270 kilowatt with dual charging. In fact, this ability further reinforces the notion that the Tesla Semi is the only electric truck on the market capable of replacing diesel trucks in most real-world applications. Another remarkable feature of the Tesla Semi 
is that it can achieve an impressive 500-mile range with a fully loaded truck, all without compromising its cargo capacity. During the IAA Transportation Expo 2024, Dan Priestley presented a chart highlighting that the Tesla Semi weighs less than 10,500 kilograms, which puts it on par with some of the heaviest diesel trucks. This weight, combined with its range and charging speed, positions the Tesla Semi as a leading contender for long-term use in freight and logistics. To round the numbers, assuming the truck weighs 23,000 pounds, when pulling a trailer weighing 10,000 pounds, the total cargo capacity could reach approximately 49,000 pounds. This figure is comparable to a standard diesel truck, especially when factoring in the weight of the fuel. According to the comparison chart, traditional diesel trucks typically have a cargo capacity ranging from 44,000 pounds to 54,000 pounds, depending on the vehicle's weight and the amount of fuel it carries. How many Tesla semis will Tesla produce in 2025? I can say that one. So we just closed up the semi-factory roof and walls last week in Reno. In Reno, you never know what's going to happen. But we're prepping for mechanical installation of all the equipment in the coming months. Um, the first builds of the high-volume semi-design will come late this year in 2025 and begin ramping early in 2026. According to Elon Musk, the number of Tesla semis produced in 2025 will be enough to capture 10% of the U.S. Class 8 truck market. Some fans are hopeful that if these trucks are capable of reaching 1.5 million miles, Tesla could potentially capture 20% of the market, a number that certainly isn't easy to forecast in this scenario. Currently, Tesla is building a new mass production facility for the Tesla Semi just outside of Gigafactory, Nevada. You've likely heard a lot about this new factory recently, but today we'll provide you with the latest updates on its construction progress. With the new $3.6 billion factory spanning 4 million square feet, Tesla plans to produce 50,000 units per year, making the semi-gen two more widespread. The integration of the new 4680 battery cells will further enhance the range and efficiency, making electric freight transportation more accessible than ever before. To date, Tesla has delivered on its promise with results that exceed expectations. This new factory is nearly half the size of Giga Texas, which currently spans 10 million square feet, while the Tesla Semi factory occupies 4 million square feet. This can truly be called a massive facility for an even more monumental purpose. We believe it will come as no surprise if some of the interior work at the factory begins in the coming months. All of these developments signal positive momentum for the brand bringing them closer to the goal of starting mass production of the Semi in 2025, with the ultimate goal of producing 50,000 trucks annually. This will undoubtedly make it one of the most productive truck manufacturing plants in the U.S. In reality, electric pickup trucks currently occupy just a small segment of the Class 8 market. So, 50,000 units per year is a significant figure for this specific sector. More importantly, if adoption slows, Tesla will find itself at a severe disadvantage competitively, as it will have no presence in the commercial service sector. Thanks to some fantastic footage from Zangler, we now have the clearest and most accurate insight into the progress of production at the facility. In fact, the walls have now been enclosed, and the stamping presses are actively being worked on. A few weeks ago, reports indicated that a significant amount of grading work was actively being done at this location, 